ODM leader Raila Odinga is tonight defending his party's support for the new tax measures. Raila says the decision by his party to support the bill was on condition that President Uhuru Kenyatta's government cuts down on unnecessary spending, sustains the fight against corruption, and that it repatriates billions of shillings he says are stashed in accounts in the UK and Switzerland. This, uh, he spoke in Bondo as leaders in other parts of the country continued to disagree on that finance bill. It was a day of drama in the National Assembly on Thursday last week as members of parliament passed President Uhuru Kenyatta's proposals to the finance bill, reducing the proposed 16% VAT on petroleum products to 8%. Will as many as our contrary opinion say nay? With the official opposition party, ODM, having resolved to support the bill, MPs opposing the proposals failed to raise the required quorum of 233 MPs to shoot down the bill. And now opposition leader Raila Odinga has defended the move, saying it was necessary to help bridge the country's budget gap. Raila, who was speaking during a fans drive at the Anglican church in Bondo, however, says the support was on condition. He wants President Uru Kenyatta's administration to reduce spending, fight corruption, and recover billions of shillings stashed in foreign accounts. A stance supported by other leaders who spoke separately in Kisumu. And to ask is not a sin, it's not unlawful. And the only thing that I can tell Uhuru Kenyatta, you are very lucky that you are Raila Omolo Dinga, you shook hands. Otherwise, <laughs> we need to know the direction that Kenya is taking. At this rate and the level of debt that we have, it is an alarming and it is very unacceptable. Miles away in Meru, Shida Kubwa Baya Pesa Nyingia Inchihi Inatumeka, Inatumeka Kugarabia Uongos Ambao Umekuja na Katipa Hii. Shida hile hiko, sio raisi uhuru kenyata ama deputy president William Ruto. Shida ni wale wanamu advice kama rotich na hiyo treasury mzima iondolele kabisa. In Soy constituency, Wasingishu County, leaders were not agreed on what is best for the country when it comes to tax measures. Both sides had lost and I don't think anybody won out of this. Not the Mwana Inchi and not... Uh, the national treasury by pushing that because uh, once you force uh, you have a law passed by force it really doesn't have the force of acceptance by society all those members of parliament who voted no to the presidential memorandum are liars they are not true to the uh, they do not care about the common kenyan they care about themselves let them sign and reduce their salary then we will know President Uru Kenyatta assented to the bill on Friday before he quietly left for New York to attend the 73rd session of the UN General Assembly. Kenyans now face tough times as effects of the tax measures trickle down to the price of essential goods and services. Rita Tinina, KTN News.